We have breaking news from the San Fernando Valley. That is where a landslide has left at least one home badly damaged. ATLA's Annie Rose Ramos live in Sherman Oaks this morning with the very latest. Annie Rose, good morning. Lauren, Chris, good morning to you both. Well, it's tough to see from where we're standing, but this entire road has been blocked off by the fire department. The firefighters now up this driveway trying to assess if there's any further threat. But if you go to this entrance of the driveway. You can see there are two mailboxes here. It says 3741 and 3801. Now I went up the driveway with the resident. He allowed me access to his home at the very top of the home and we're going to go to some video that he shared with me just a couple of minutes ago because he said a couple of hours ago his son heard the sound of cracking coming from outside and that cracking went straight through a wall damaged their pool their cement pool and then damaged some of the side of their house and you can see in that video at the end what it did to the home. Now, just a couple of minutes ago, we saw that entire family, mother, father, son, completely evacuated, all of them driving out of this driveway. But we know that there are homes, because it's on a slope, because it's on a hill, that there are homes all around it, below it, above it. And that is what we are seeing right now, this incredible effort by firefighters. We understand geologists are also coming to the scene in order to determine if anyone here in this neighborhood and on this street is at risk. All right, I want to bring in Riley because you were here earlier this evening. You heard earlier this morning, I should say, and you heard a little bit about what was going on, the commotion outside. Tell yeah. us tell us what happened. Um, so initially what happened was um, I heard the trucks come up. I originally thought it might have been a tow truck or like a street super truck. I'm like, oh, it's early because I know they only do it like once a month here. Um, I came outside, actually saw two fire trucks, saw the ladder, ladder company as well as a regular truck um, pull up. There's a driveway on that side that's, there's a lot of running water coming down it. And um, with that running water, I was like, well, there's some running water coming down up and down here. So I thought it might've been the rain, but then it kept moving faster and faster. Saw them checking the electrical boxes. So I was wondering like, oh, maybe like a water line broke or something like that. Neighbor came down, was talking about how a pool got damaged and how water is flowing down and um and maybe that's where the water was coming yeah that's where that water was coming from yeah. then we heard that there was also a mudslide that was associated with that water that was coming down and um and with that um with the water that was coming down it may have caused damage to a house that was there um not 100 percent sure yet i haven't been up there i haven't taken a taken a look yet but from what I'm hearing right now, it sounds like a, some pro there was some pretty significant property damage that happened. You know, we also saw a neighbor that lives kind of below it. She was very concerned about packing up her stuff. You were offering to help her take out some of her artwork, some of the valuables that are important to her. Talk a little bit about what the neighbors are you're hearing about. I mean, it's, it's generally understandable that they're worried. I mean, you have a house that is potentially damaged because of this. And, you know, when there's one mudslide, now there's a lot of mud buildup. Now there, if there's a structure that was damaged or now there's a lot of wood now the worry is is this going to travel down the hill yeah. and it's understandable that they'd be upset nervous because you know emotions start getting riled up when your life your, your home your property your the things you own are at risk Absolutely. it's scary it Absolutely. truly is well you were very sweet to jump in and offer to help thank you so much i appreciate you telling us a little bit more now up and down the street we're noticing firefighters go from home to home kind of assessing again what kind of damage if any or what kind of um impact this could have had to any other homes in this neighborhood. But for now, reporting live, I'll send it back to you guys in the studio.